Hey guys, Carl Stan here. Follow me as we go through a day in the Guinness Six Nations camp. We're going into the cryo. <laughs> but it just freezes up. Hey, man. This is uh, this is the pre, the pre cool, pre frost. Johnny, you've been naming the team to face Ireland this Saturday. How much are you and the boys looking forward to that? Yeah, I think everyone's massively looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I just want to build on um, a big win last week uh, against Italy. Uh, it was a tough game out there uh, from watching and speaking to the boys. You see how passionate Italy are and uh, the rugby they're playing, um, especially to go out there and get the win. But at the same time, um, I think throughout the campaign, I think we've done some things really well, but um, yeah, been inconsistent in a lot of areas. And I think we, we want to finish on high. And, yeah, there's probably no bigger challenge. Ireland are one of the most informed teams. Um, you see the results they have, the way they're playing. Um, so to go over there, yeah, it's going to be a huge challenge. An exciting one for you though as well, and, and all the team, because you seem to relish these challenges when you do go to a place and it's maybe quite a hostile envi environment. Ireland have a lot to play for, but so do we. I think that's the, the best thing about Six Nations, when you look at the teams in them, there's every game such a tough test. And like I said, Ireland, like you, you look at the provinces, how well they've been playing over the last few years or um, throughout. Um, and then you look at the way Ireland have been playing. Um, they've got such a talented team. Um, everyone in the team can play with the ball, and yeah, they're just so clinical as well in attack and defence. But at the same time, uh, we need to focus on us. And like I said, we need to build. And uh, there's yeah, what a challenge going away, and it's it's usually exciting going away to going away to Dublin. You've had you've picked up an injury during this championship, but you're obviously back involved. How how are you? How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, it's feeling good. Um, obviously, it's it's frustrating, um, but. Yeah, I've been well looked after um, from here and from Exeter. Um, there's been great uh, communication through both, so I can only thank um, the medical department at both ends um, just for getting me back here. And yeah, it's, uh, you just cherish being a part of this. Well, it's such a special group. Um, the new guys coming in, they've added really well. The, the coaches, uh, all the members of staff, it's, it, yeah, it's such a special place to be in. I think 
Yeah, you just everyone just wants to perform and do well, uh, do well for Scotland, and I think that the strike it really hits home. Um, it's always been special playing at BT Murrayfield, but um, just been back at uh, BT Murrayfield for the first time in such a long time, and even just that coming off the bus, um, you speak to any player, it's it's, uh, it's it's hard to put in words what that means, and yeah, to have people there. So yeah, when we lose these games and we want to put in performances, it, it hurts a lot. So um, yeah, that, that's what drives the standards all the time. And that match against England. It was just an incredible um, game, an incredible atmosphere. What did you, did you make of that? And I suppose it's important for you to try and recreate that performance um, and result when you're coming up against Ireland. Yeah, again, like, we knew going against England. Um, when you look at the players they have, uh, the, the squad they have, the coaches they have, they're such a talented team, how physical it was, and it was such a tough game. And I think these games, you see how close they are, how close the results are. When you look at the England Ireland game, how close that was. and. Yeah, every result's so close, but we, we know uh, we need to be at our best um, going, into ne going into this week at the weekend because um, yeah, it's going to be a huge challenge and, like I said, I'm the most, one of the most informed teams just now. You missed out on the autumn through injury and during that time you became a father. What's it like being a dad? It's, it's been unbelievable. Uh, yeah, the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, it, was, uh, yeah, it was a frustrating period at the start, um, probably the biggest layoff I've had uh, with an injury. Um, but. Yeah, to, to have wee Frankie there, um, yeah, it definitely brings a lot of perspective and yeah, I absolutely love being a dad. Um, and my wife, uh, she's been incredible uh, as well looking after him. But uh, yeah, it's good to get back and yeah, I managed to get him to one of the games for the first time, both for, for Exeter and uh, Scotland. So um, yeah, just yeah, yeah, very privileged and very lucky to do that. But uh, just a ma again, a massive thanks to the, the medical team and the SNC and the coaches down at Exeter. They, yeah, they really helped me a lot and whenever I needed help, um, through my injury and just stuff, working on my game and getting back to my game, um, they're always there for me. So, um, yeah, big thank you to them. Josh, you've been named in the squad to face Ireland. If you come on, it'll be your first appearance in the Guinness Six Nations. What was your reaction when you found out? Oh, I was massively surprised and no, overwhelmed, really. It's a, um, a massive thing for me and it's like everyone watches the Six Nations when they're a kid growing up and you, you dream of playing in it. And, I guess it hasn't really sunk in that, that I might get that chance this weekend to, to run out, especially in, in, in Dublin, a place like the Aviva. It would be an incredible experience and um, just looking forward to, to getting out there and getting stuck in. How's the fight for tickets been? Have you managed to sort out your family? I think I've managed to, to sort them out. Yeah, it's always a, a tricky one. And, um, but no, it'd be amazing to have um, my girlfriend and, and, and my family and my mum and, and sister and, and hopefully my uh, my, my auntie's over there, which would be amazing, um, and, and sort of to, to have them over there supporting is, is incredible. As you say, a massive challenge against Ireland, but you must be really looking forward to it personally. Yeah, massively. No, it's, it's so exciting. And I mean, I, I played against Leinster a few times this season for Bath and um, a lot of those guys in that team and, and they're just a, and a, a very, very good attacking team. And, and they're, they're very physical in defence. It's, it's, it's what you dream of, really, to play against the best teams in the world. And, um, and that's what we're, we're up against this weekend, so absolutely relishing it.